Today we are talking about very simple term, rest and motion. But sometimes this uh, rest and motion also seems to be a little difficult to understand in certain cases. Otherwise, this is a very simple term. What is rest? I want to describe first. A body is a body is said to be at rest if it does not change change its position position with respect to with respect to its surrounding surroundings for example we can give example also surroundings for example a blackboard a blackboard blackboard of classroom in the same way we can take other example also uh, just for example a tap in the bathroom etc uh, look at this uh, saying a body is said to be at rest if it doesn't change its position with respect to its surrounding for example blackboard if you are in class you have noticed that backboard never changes position uh, uh, with respect to your branches and decks of the classroom and in the same way in your bathroom also a tap never changes position with respect to uh, the other materials of this uh, bathroom that's why uh, if it doesn't change its position then that, uh, this is called uh, the body at rest it's very easy to understand but in the same way let's talk about the motion also a body is said to be in motion if it changes its position with respect to to its surrounding for example a moving car is in motion A moving car is in motion with respect to respect to with respect to the trees and poles of the roadside. Now Look at this, it's very simple and very clear. Uh, a bus is in motion, we know that, and uh, the blackboard is at rest, but there are some questions which are very important. Just for example, if a body, this is a body, and this is another one, and if they, are, they do not change uh, their position, they are at rest. But if this nail keeps on changing its position, from rest to and comes in motion this way then the distance between this body and this nail keeps on changing that's why we can say that this nail is in motion with respect to this but we have to understand another matter also this this metal 
plate is also in motion with respect to this moving nail because the distance between the nail and this metal sheet is uh, changing and changing that's why the metal sheet is in motion with respect to nail and nail is in motion with respect to this metal sheet this way we can see that the same body seems to be at rest but it is in motion if it is compared with this but if we are comparing these three then if it moves from its position then the nail is in motion with respect to this metal sheet and this sign pen but this is a, at rest with respect to sign pen and sign pen is rest uh, is at rest with respect to this that's why this is comparative matter i mean to say uh, one is one may be at rest in comparison with other but may be in motion with comparison with another one so we have to be clear about this also but in the same way if a person is in a bus and a bus is moving then the bus is in motion and the person is also passenger is also in motion with respect to the trees and poles of the roadside but in comparison with the bus the passenger is at rest because the distance between bus and passenger is not changing yeah that's why uh, the bus and the passenger is in motion with respect to the poles of the roadside but bus is at rest with respect to the passenger this way this is rest and motion is relative term you have to remember this it is relative term one may be at rest but the same may be in motion with respect to another one okay this must fall today